Never recorded it last night. Record. All right, so then after right, it's going to be recorded. All right. Well, it's recorded now. All right, so let's move on to the next slide. Now, all right, Anne-Marie, your, your time to read again. Oh, excretion. Mm -hmm. Is the removal of substances from plants, animals, and other living organisms in humans with skin, lungs, and kidneys or excretory, excretory. excretory organs. Good. So as you can see, every living organism has to carry out this process. And that's that's the next topic that's the next topic we'll be looking at in your lesson assignment that will be given during the week. So I think when I get to home today I'll do it. So excretion excretory system we'll be looking at next class and homeostasis. No, so as you can see though. This, this part of the picture is um, showing us the leaf. And of course, we refer to it as transpiration. But really, for a fact, all, this wa all the water is visible there. Is that, um, I don't know if I've ever gone, gone outside early in the morning before and I've seen the Leaves are the grass being wet. What I'm going to say is dew. Dew, yeah, they call it the dew. Now, they will tell you that the, the plants photosynthesize in the morning, and they'll also tell you that the plants res respires in the night. So, but during respiration, though, carbon dioxide is given off, energy is given off. And water in the form of a vapor is now. But when the vapor exits the leaf, so the vapor comes off as an excretory product, quote unquote. It comes off, and that vapor is suddenly condensed. Because you know, normally the night is hot, right? It's suddenly condensed. And then when it condensed now, it becomes liquid. It's called condensation. So it comes off as an excretory product. And there are other excretory products of a plant as well. You know, some other time we'll discuss that. Now you can see the little baby right here trying to be a man. All right. In, in claim time <laughs> more than more than potty train. So he's there passing his urine. And you know where you know the kidney, it is inside the kidney that urine, urine is actually formed. All right. Okay, now, um, can you read the next one for me, please? Shalian, growth. Shalian. <coughs> growth mm -hmm. is defined as a irre irre irreversible increase in the dry mass of an organism. Mm -hmm. It is brought about by an increase in the cell size or number. Exactly. So here we are seeing in the picture here where a plant is visibly growing in stages and what contributes to the growth of this plant as far as you can see it increase in the cell size or also in the number of cells. But it says as the cells multiply they expand and we look at that when we're doing um, reproduction. Right? Just want to know. What you um, say? What does now, sir? No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying that um, the growth right here, what really contributes to growth is the, as it says, increase in cell size or number. So I'm just saying that when the cells divide and multiply, then that, if you look at a, a baby, a baby is actually formed from a two two zyg two two um gametes coming together gametes good, and forming a zygote which becomes a, a single cell now that single cell is um, multiplies by dividing they're constantly dividing 
And then some of these cells now will start to specialize. And, and if we already find that the baby start to form the different parts, like the head, the limbs, etc., and all the internal organs, right? So those things, so I'm just saying that in the, in what we start to do, reproduction and um, heredity and variation, you learn more about that, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right, your turn again to read, Anne-Marie. Okay, the... Um, the ability of an organism or organs to respond to, is to respond to external stimuli. It's called sensitivity. When a stimulus is applied to a sensory um, receptor, it's normally elicits in, in, or influences or elicits or influences or reflex via stimulus trans transduction. transduction. All right. No. The act okay. of changing. No one, that, that's a different one. I'll read the middle one and then share in the last one. So this, this is another. We looked at this under, under the topic of coordination and control. So now you can see where, why I started yeah. with section B of the syllabus now. Because we're going for the details of these activities of the living things. You realize that now? So when I tell you that there, there are yeah. seven yeah. videos based on this. It simply means that you have seen how much videos we have covered already, right? So only two we have not done it, excretory and reproduction system, right? Good. Now, but, but look at the pictures though. You realize that somebody was touching the leaf, the leaf of this plant with a pencil and we saw what happened. The plant responded by closing up its leaf. Good. Yeah, this is shame Shame only. Very good. So it also <laughs> shows us. <laughs> good. All right. It also shows us then that plants do respond to stimuli. And of course, you know this already, where the person touches the hot, plate, the hot pot with his bare fingers, which, which is which is covered by his skin, the sense organ. And as you can see, he responded. And this is called a can anybody tell me the name of the activity? What one word is given to them? Remember? The reflex um, action. Yes, yeah, exactly. Reflex action. Uh, reflex arc. Very good, Anne Marie. So, you mean I remember? Yeah, I remember, man. All right. Now, this is, you can see this picture that the cheetah is actually moving. All right? So, a picture is not taken of him in action. Now, it says the act of changing place or position by the entire body or by one or more of its parts is called movement. Now, you might be wondering if plants do move. Of course they move. But they are called, they are given, the, the movement of the plant is given different names. You have the fault or something or other that relates to the movement of the plant towards light. The, the, the plant also moves towards gravity in terms of the roots spreading. All right? So there's a way in which the plant basically moves. So, there are times. Photosynthesis, we're going to do that part of I, I, I don't quite remember the, the actual name. <laughs> But it refers to the movement of the plants towards the sunlight, towards light itself. All right? Because remember, a plant is supposed to grow vertically, right? But it bends towards. So, so once it is bending, it is changing its direction. And that is movement. Agree? Okay. Good. All right. Um, it's your turn to read now, shall I? Uh, reproduction, uh -huh. um, procreation, or breeding 
is the, is the biological a biological process by which new individual organism offspring are produced oh sorry let me read it over exactly uh, <laughs> yeah. production uh pre for creation for creation yeah for creation or breeding mm. it's a biological process by which new individual organism offspring are produced from their parents mm. The, 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 cloning, the cloning of an organism is a form of asexual reproduction. Mm. By asexual reproduction, an organism creates a clinically, clinically similar or identical copy of itself. Okay, thank you very much. All right, so as you can see, we all know about the baby, right? An offspring produced from both parents. Mm -hmm. Okay, unfortunately, the mothers have to be the ones to carry it along. But so it goes. <laughs> All right. And we can see this bees now. This is what we call insect pollination. And they, they participate in asexual reproduction for the plants, right? So the whole idea is both mm -hmm. plants and animals um, reproduce. Now let's, let's continue. All right, so we have just concluded the description of the characteristics of um, plant and animal cell. The the actual living charges of living things basically now we're at the another objective the second objective in the syllabus under section a to compare the structures of an unspecialized plant and animal cell and selected microbes now When we say to compare, you are looking for the differences and similarities as it relates to plants and animal cells. And also selected microbes. Now, microbes there are microscopic organs, but they cannot see with the naked eye. Can you see a bacteria? No. Okay. Can you see a virus? No. Okay. That's why we do it as a microbe. So a microbe is any living organism that cannot be seen with the naked eye, right? To the naked eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the naked eye. No. Under a microscope, a scientist might want to examine the physical structure of, let's say, an onion. So they will take a slice of the onion, that's the very, very thin slice of the onion, very thin. It almost looks like a gelatinous thing resting on your fingertips, very thin. And they put it on a, on a, um, I remember the glass, the glass and they cover it and place it on the microscope. The microscope now is used to magnify the cell so it can be made more visible to the naked eye. Now, of course, when you look at that, that cell, you don't see words, right? When you look on a manga, do you see words? Anne Marie says, No. <coughs> I remember she cried like she's saying, Yes, you see words from manga? Unless, yeah. unless, unless it's a manga that I wrote my name on. <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> Make sure you don't trouble my manga. Yes, 
Indian mango, yeah, that's my name on it. That's your name on it. All right. I, I don't know where to go and get the yeah. Indian mangoes then. I have to come to Curious for the East Indian mangoes, right? Well, I don't think so. You, got, if, you if, have mango that, that's so nice over here, East Indian. I never see one over here. What? They will never go to Portmore to export your mango, them pay, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Okay, good. So I'm saying that there's no words on the on the bit. So each of these structures were named by the scientists. But some of the names, some of the names are some of the names are given based on the the relationship, the structure might have with something else. For example, a cell wall. The cell wall carries a similar function like a prison cell. Right? Because they are set, because they are joined like cells in a set in a prison. But they are but the structure itself is is, is surrounding the cell and it's called a cell wall. Make sense? You like it? No. Yeah, it makes sense. Good. No. Well the chloroplast right here. And in the chloroplast is where photosynthesis takes place. All right? And we have the large vacuole, mm -hmm. or the cell membrane. And the, the fluid area right here is like plasma, or cytoplasm, exactly. Um, Etc. All right. So, what I want you guys to do is to compare these two and tell me if there's any differences between the two of them. So this is plant cell and this is animal animal cell. Animal cell can be human too. Is this? Yeah, man. Animal. Animal. Then, then every human is an animal. Okay. <laughs> I what is circular? I want is square. Is... But but they tell me it's circular. Yeah. And tell me it's rectangular. You know, it's not square, right, there, sir? But not bad. That's good. <laughs> All right, I mean, what is your observation? Yeah, it's the cell is different in shape. That's what I noticed. One is more with a, with a curve, uh -huh. or, uh, which is a plant cell, uh -huh. and, yeah. the, and the animal cell is more circle, like not really circle, but circular all right what other observation can you make well it's in color i don't know the color is different with more and no. it's smaller animal cells smaller mm -hmm. in size mm -hmm. and this plant cell is more wider okay broad. Is it, is it any other observation apart from the? I think it, the animal cell have some things in it, like some dents. Right? All right. No. Here, this word is this is small vacuole right here, right? Small vacuole. This word just says nuclear membrane. Nuclear. This word just says nucleus. This word just says cytoplasm. This word is cell surface membrane, and this word is mitochondria. All right, tell me the differences now. Okay, then this plant cell don't have, it have a, a vacuole, but it's not. Look good, look good at it. Inside of the cell, while it, this is outside. No man, they are both inside of a cell. But what is what, what is what is more larger than one? Uh, one is more larger than one. That is it. 
So the plant cell vacuole is larger in comparison to the animal cell, which is smaller, isn't that? <laughs> Come on, Marie. You give me an explanation, Anne Marie. The mitochondria cell in the plant is larger than the one in the animal cell. All right, based on the picture, yeah. And it has two, contains two mitochondria. Right. Right. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean they only have two units. Just have the picture pick up those two. You understand? Okay. Yeah. But there's another there's another obvious um there's another apart from the size of the vacuole. There's another obvious um there are two more differences they can pick out of it. There are two more differences they can pick out of it. There are two more differences they can pick out of it. Two more differences. You don't see it? The, 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 the in triangular space? No, man. Don't, don't look on the shape anymore. Look on the components of each cell now. Mm. The parts of each cell. The nucleus. They both have nucleus, but nucleus membrane, nuclear mem membrane. Mm -hmm. and, uh, You're looking for differences. Remember, looking for differences. Oh, yeah, call the name right. Okay. The cell wall. Uh, okay. Okay. What about the cell wall? It's different. It's different? What do you mean? Well, there is a cell wall in the plant cell. And? And the animal cell doesn't have. Oh, very good. That's what I'm wanting to say. So you must say it. All right. There's another, there's another, um, there's another difference. Can you tell me? What's the, what's the other difference? The body of the organization of Jamaica, PSOJ, is expressing concern about the health of the country's emergency. More than 400 persons have been. Where do you see it? Um, in the intercellular space, um, the, the plant cell of into the space while the animal cell don't have any. All right, that is there because of the picture. But the one you're supposed to pay attention to is a chloroplast. The plant cells, all, all the plant cells have a chloroplast, and animal cell doesn't have it. But the chloroplast is where photosynthesis takes place. Only plants photosynthesize, animal doesn't photosynthesize, right? Mm -hmm. Make sense though? Yeah, makes sense. All right. Okay. Now here are images of the bacteria and virus. Now when you look at the bacteria, which of the two cells that we looked at is it, is it similar to and why? My question to the class is, you know, when you look at the, the image of the bacteria, which of the other two cells that we looked at, is it similar to 